Tractor Nation. I'm here today with Gilbert Dick. He's from Litchfield, Minnesota, and he has one of 157 of these 340 diesels that were built. This was the last one that they built. It's the last one in the serial number, and he got it because he just really wanted it. <laughs> you tell us the story about how you got this, Gilbert. Well, I went to an auction that a collector was 81 years old. He was selling out his collection. And he had this tractor for about 30 years. And it wasn't painted. And so I went to the auction and another bidder took me to 3,000. And the auctioneer went going once, going twice. And another bidder came up and took me to 4,000. And another bidder took me to 5,000. I told him I'm going to take it home. So I bid 5200 and he walked away and went to half. <laughs> there you go. And you got it. And and what did so, you say you had? What did you have to do when you got it? What kind of decent shape was it? It in? was in really nice shape, but okay. it needed a paint job. All right. So the Red Power Roundup in here was coming last time. That was uh, 2014? 14. 2014. So I called my painter and I said, I want to take my 340 diesel to Red Power. And that was the winter of 13, 14. Yeah, okay. And he took me off his list and didn't put me on and couldn't get it in. Oh, no. So I took it to a friend of mine's John Deere paint shop. Why not? <laughs> it was a red tractor and a John Deere paint shop. <laughs> I went to pick it up and it was terrible. Terrible paint job? It was just a horrible paint job. Oh, so we don't so, like the tractors, we don't like the paint jobs either, huh? So oh anyway, my goodness. I paid the guy the $800 he charged me, which was too little, but it wasn't good. Mm -hmm. I went to the IH dealer and bought nine rattle cans of red paint. Okay. I took nine rattle cans just for the sheet metal. Okay. Or just for the, just for the casting? Cast, just for the cast iron. Okay. Uh, I took all the sheet metal off and took it to my body shop. Uh-huh. He was painting a red car the next week. I was lucky. <laughs> so he did a nice job on the sheet. Yeah, well, really we, nice we job. put it all together. So did you shoot this in enamel or lacquer? Uh, that's in uh, IH. That's just I, uh, 2152? Yeah, 21, okay. 2152. It, it's just absolutely beautiful. Everything is, is just just really super straight, really super nice. But there, there's what I noticed when you're coming down the road this morning during the... the uh, during the parade of power here at Red Power Roundup 2020 was how high up the front end sits. Is, is that unusual or is that how no, it was? With a, with a wide front they set up high. On the, with this wide front swept back like this, it sets up a lot higher. I'm it gonna, just seems like it really sits up high. I'm change this to 15 inch tire. It's going to drop it down three inches. So we'll level it out some. It just, it just has this, this stance coming down the road. It's just like, here I come. So it's a 340 diesel. Do you use it for anything? I go to plow days. You go to plow days with it, so you actually I, you, I you plowed, drop it in dirt. Yep. I plowed with this about four times. Wow, that's a lot of fun. So big collection at home though, right? Uh, yeah, we got 50 tractors. 50 tractors. What's your day job? I'm retired. Retired from yeah. I have I have an insurance agency. Okay. I had 600 farm accounts. So you took care of farmers and their insurance. Farmers and their insurance. That's that's a well. Thanks for doing that, because man, that's much needed. You know, everybody needs needs some uh, a little bit of assurance from the insurance. <laughs> and uh, congratulations so anyway, that's, on that's congratulations on uh, getting one of 157. That so did you know going in that was that rare? Not that rare. No. I knew it was rare. Okay. I'd never seen one. And what makes it rare is the diesel. The diesel. The diesel. Yeah. It, well, it's a beautiful tractor, well taken care of. The guy, when you finally got it painted, it's gorgeous. <laughs> I'm glad you're still using it for what it was made for. Yeah. Dropping a plow on the ground once in a while. And uh, thanks for spending some time you're with best. us. Thanks a lot. We appreciate you. Thank you for watching Red Tractor Nation. Thank you.